Yeah, so someone told me that they were playing the Dreadnought list with Witching Well and Thoughtcast over Tezzeret and Dreadnought, which seems fine. I will say that Witching Well is like super dirtily, and I've never really found that card to be great. But I I could be I could be misevaluating it a little bit, right? I don't know if we have any um a two two split, two test two Urza. Maybe. We could maybe just try like four Tezzerets. Four mana Karn could be good since it can crew dreadnought. When, when you crew dreadnought with a four mana Karn, it it's a one one. Tez Tezzeret makes it a seven eleven permanently, but Karn does not. Bankbuster seems like I play with Tez. Yeah, I mean, so that's the thing about Bankbuster is that card seems very good with Tezzeret in play, and not that good other other times. And I think I think like that your cards just need to be good when you don't have Tezzeret in play. Okay, well we do have a lot of blasts. We also now have Cat Oven, which is nice. Um, I guess I'm playing Saga too. Kind of sounds like all these artifact decks with synthesizer. I I agree, but I also feel like, like we we have played uh, like I actually actually I don't think that this deck wants synthesizer because the curve is so high, but I I did I did play um. We were playing this like synthesizer synthesizer affinity deck that like this like synthesizer did feel pretty good here, but you know there's there's just so many ins and outs to the case. There's just so much going on and um. It, it is at least it is least interesting. What do I think about Grief Blade? I'm not a fan of that deck. I think the best mid range still play deck is the Boros one I've been playing, and um, I, I do think that that deck is capable of winning games, but I'm not a not a big fan of it overall. Head scales go on three two. Um, was very like automaton was good but you would have to play a lot more matches to see if it was better than the white the white version but automaton did feel good in the deck why don't emory in my affinity list so this is something we talk about all the time uh too much to be honest but we can talk about it again uh is that uh there the prob the problem with the affinity decks is not the top end right there's there's no shortage of good top ends. You have access to Imri, Urza, Tezzeret, Thoughtcast, Thought Monitor, and then worse options in my opinion like Psy, Nettlesis, Cranial Plating, Urza Saga. Like you you really have no shortage of top end in these decks. Uh, Imri is fine, but she's very fragile to removal and uh, she's slow too. And like when you compare Imri to the your other card draw effects. Okay, I don't need to sack the, the food now. Well, when you compare Emery to your other um, card advantage spells, like, your other card advantage spells draw cards immediately. Emery, Emery like, takes a turn to start drawing you cards, which is an issue. And so I, I usually think Emery is worse than your other options, but it, it is a, she is a fine card. Like, Emery, Emery is fine. It's, it's good that you can cast Emery for one mana. There are some interesting overlaps. Um... I should sack the food. This is not that bad for me because I do get to kill the Karn. Can you switch over to Tez deck one second so I can screenshot the list? If you type exclamation point deck in the screenshot, and you you can you can rewind the vod or you can look in the stream decker and then reverse engineer it. But um, you know we've got you've got fifteen hundred people in the chat. I just you know can't do that every time someone asks. So they're gonna get Springleaf Drum so I can double Galvanic Blast end of turn. So uh, this is eight, there's just 13 points of damage. Likely to be good enough, we'll see. What about Paradox Outcome and the Urza Artifact decks? I mean, uh, it's worse. I don't know. Like, like the outcome is only good when you have Urza and a lot of artifacts in play. You know, uh, there there may be some other more narrow windows for the card, but but for the most part, Urza is only good when you have Urza's only or outcome is only good when you have Urza and you have a lot of artifacts in play. 
And, and like, again, like I just got done saying, the issue with these Affinity decks is not the top end. You get to draw billions of cards. You know, like, that's not, that's not the, uh, the choke point for the artifact deck. Yeah, just, yeah, just to win more card. Kind of like Psy, kind of like Emery. So anyway, I started blasting. Cat Oven is 15. I can't, I can't Cat Oven because of the uh, cage, but I can just attack them. Oh, I, sorry, I could have sacked, I could have sacked the token to the oven, though, to grow this one. Doesn't really matter, though. The Affinity of this has 17 lands. Um, four Urza Saga, four Citadel. Um, one, one Channel Land, one Abora, and the rest Islands, so that's seven Islands. Nine, nine blue sources. You can just put Islands in those spots instead if you wanted. Also, Shrevna blasted them by second the token. Uh, yeah, yeah, could have done that instead of the blasts. Those are in the matter in the end, and I, I think that that game like it does a, a great job selling the burn package in this deck, and and why I've, I've become just a little discouraged about trying to find other builds because we've been talking about like Rin and Six plus Goose plus um, uh, Trail of Crumbs. We've been talking a little bit about Time Sieve, and the reality is like. You're already really good in the grindy matchups. That's not where you need help. You need help against like Tron and Titan and combo. And the burn plan just makes you so much better in these matchups. It's just... it's gonna be. I think it's going to be tough to find a better version. I mean, it's, it is nice that I think we found the best version like pretty fast. But I was pretty excited about this deck. I was hoping, I was hoping we get to, you know, stay a while. Maybe we still get to stay you know, a little while. I'll trim one cat, one oven, too. Just be a little leaner, a little leaner, a little meaner. Yeah, I, I'm also, I, I also ordered the cards I needed for this deck, which were, were really just like a pile of commons and uncommons, but I, I, I'm also building the deck in paper. This hand is great. Wow, that is a draw. So we go Ragavan on turn one into... Uh, Squirrel Cat Oven, and this the squirrel is going to be gigantic. My opponent's also kept, I feel like, some maybe, oh, I don't know. Maybe I need to thought seize here. How's the hammer matchup? Uh, I haven't played it very much. It, it's been fine. Um, I mean, hammer is definitely the kind of deck that you just lose to a decent amount of the time. Um, I'm trying to think if I need if, if I need to <laughs> thought seize them because I, what I really want to do is just cast two squirrels and then next turn this will be a two two be a one one the next turn cauldron familiar second oven and then this is gonna make this a six power creature a five power creature and so I'm kind of weak to worm coil yeah I think I think I think that I should I should cast one squirrel and then thought seize which. Bit, a bit of a bummer. Aimer Luck Brewing with Kato. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been super stuck with it as well. Um, I, uh, I, spent a, I spent a lot of time last night. Oh, interesting. I spent a lot of time last night working on lists. Uh, Kaito was uh, a, a list I was really heavily working on. Um, I, I put several versions together, including one. Oh, they don't even have Tron. Well. I think I'm taking Great Creator. Could take O Stone. Could take Worm Coil. It's gotta be Great Creator. Um, sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. So, so I yeah, I put together like half of a Salte list, a couple of Grixis versions. Um, I was trying, I was trying hard to like make like Demir, Murktide with Voidwalker, Kaito, uh, Murktide. There's just like not enough creatures in that deck. Uh, I was trading some Sultai, and then I was also trying um, Stoneblade. 
uh, Esper Stoneblade with Kaito, and that one I was like pretty excited by, but I only played a couple matches, and it was it was kind of like I think Kaito, Kaito did seem fine in that list, but I was also playing I was also trying out the Wandering Emperor. I was really unimpressed by the Wandering Emperor. Um, um so I, I, I'm just still stuck. I'm still stuck as well. I I do think like I will continue to explore Esper Stoneblade with Kaito a little bit, but. You you guys can be assured that I am not go I am not going to play Kaito on stream unless I think that that deck is good. I could be wrong, but um, I could be wrong. But it's also possible I just misevaluated the card. Not, you know that that you know the the ETB phase out ability is really hard to evaluate. But I, I think it may just end up being a bit win more. Or like, or being like, I think it would be. I think Kaito would be pretty good if it was uh, also if it was a blue red card and not a blue black card. Oh. My neighbor's got a new dog. It's barking all day. They live outside about this time to yesterday. Blast zone. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna needle the Oblivion Stone, I think. Miss a point damage. I think you should put the kind of in. Because of the blast zone, I don't know. I feel like getting in max damage is fine. I guess we, I guess we have super lethal next turn. I don't know. Their hand is worm coil, two mystery cards. They found a Karn, but now we get to, we do get to kill the Karn by making a Saga token, attacking it. Outside world where a needle map, not with the Oblivion Stone in play. There's there's no way. Do we we don't know about map, right? Urza Recruiter Yorian Companion sounds uh pretty dirtily and not that strong to be honest. Sorry. They got a chalice. Interesting. That sounds fun, but um like again, this is this is something like I really don't understand. Like Urza players just keep putting Yorion in their decks. Urza players just keep putting Yorion in the decks. But the issue with Urza decks is not the amount of cards you can draw. That is not that is not the problem for the Urza decks. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it it's 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 the early game. It's the early game and getting the density of of artifacts in play. So. Um. I, it does. It, do, it doesn't really make any sense to me that the Urza player, players are play as many uh, or they try, as many Yorion builds as they do. Do I still have my Springleaf drum? No, they're helping to get Tron, so they can hedge against it. You, you, you need a little Oblivion Stone every time. There, you're just you're overthinking it. I think. Uh, for YouTube, first stream is Catch Live. Congrats on the race. Like, help on a life total cool. Yeah, if you post a link in chat, I'll take a look. Thank you for the uh, 10 bucks. Artifact burn. Cool, cool, cool. Let's uh, finish this game up real quick. Not going for lethal? I'm going for lethal. <laughs> we, we have 15 here. The drum lets us be cast the blast. Uh, I can keep this. Yeah, so that, that that's that's what I that's the issue I see here is like, Shadow Blast got Vanic Blast obviously very powerful. You don't have nearly enough artifacts to make these cards good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Reinforced Ronin is a start, I guess. Uh, over maybe Eidolon, but I, I it still seems like a big hurdle to jump through. I'm not I'm not sure how you overcome this issue either. Like you know, did you don't have access to. Uh, like it's you can't really play Dark Steel Citadel, and I mean this is obviously by design, right? Like it's like it's by de by design that you can't just play Galvanic Blast, Shrapnel Blast in a burn deck without much cost. 
I like obviously synthesizer is a step in the right direction for this archetype, but it's it's just not quite enough. We're getting grief ephemerated, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, Voldyre and Epicurs, yeah, def that's a vet, definitely a card that you want uh, to help, but. Oh, I missed that there was a maybe board. Yeah, I don't like Rabbit Battery too much. Yeah, I like Voldarian. Oh, this is good. Two blood. You get two blood tokens from that. That's actually kind of nutty. Oh, they didn't have Ephemerate. They just they just pitched it. Although the Lava Mancer is looking pretty good here, to be honest. All right, I'm gonna play my uh my Anvil attack for one. Bowmat. I mean, you can play Bowmat, but again, like your your deck needs to be, like, you need to have like 24, 26 artifacts for Shrapnel Blast, Skyvanic Blast to be good. I'm not sure like exactly what the number is, but a a lot more than you have. That's actually a very good hit. If you splash for kiss, what do you cut? I mean, so, uh, sorry, I guess this is, like, you probably want to be playing 16 creatures. And you also, like, you need you need, you need to be cutting um, other burn spells. Since, like, you, you need to be cutting... I, 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 don't, I don't know what burn spells the right to cut, but if you're going to be adding these artifacts and these artifact enablers, you need to be um, cutting your other burn spells. I, I, I feel like Skewer the Critics um, and Rift Bolts and... Um, Lightning Helix are probably the ones you want to look at cutting first. I don't know which one exactly, to be honest. Those are the ones to look at cutting, I think. You could have, you could you have sucked this into Anvil and grabbed the lands. Uh, I could have, but I would rather just not draw the land and sack the synth the Anvil next turn. Because I'm already pretty flooded. I drew a land anyways, but... My hope was to not draw a land. <laughs> we do have Luris here. Searing Blaze? You could cut Searing Blaze. Cyborg them, maybe. Did they give up on Manufacturer deck? Um, For now. I, I might try the... Golgari version with Disciple, but I do think I've given up on it for now. Do you ever sack X Synth for the Critter? Yeah, like I did just now. In fact, you do that all the time. It's a big part of the engine, is sacking your Synthesizer, getting a, to a token. Did I try Dragon Spark? I watched Doomwake play with Dragon Spark. Um, I, it, it didn't look that good to me. So, I'm I am not uh, expecting to be very high on the card. Ever, oh, oh, for the samurai, yeah, sometimes. Oh, in, in this spot, no, in, in this spot, it's way better to get Luris. It's way better to get Luris than miss out on the samurai, in my opinion. So, any shell that makes Icefing a card, I like. I I liked Icefing in that Bant control list I played. Um, it's pretty deep on the stream decker or Twitter, but you can find them there. Watching Anvil with like 1.0 inspired make a Stork version. Yeah, some people said that too. I think it's almost there. Wish I had Saga as the missing part, yeah. Sounds fun. Would Disciple have a home and Harden scales? Probably not. You need more counter synergies. Doesn't really feel like a, it, it doesn't really feel like a card that the that deck is missing. Any plans for mirror box bar class? Okay, that was also a deck that I started on last night. I don't know if I don't know if I like what I called it. There, here it is. Yeah, so I started here. Where so we were talking yesterday about how Ragavan is the only good one mana legend, but there is actually another good one mana legend, Mister Sari. A short stream today, huh? Thank you for the raid. I don't know how you're enabling this, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like I think like this shell is interesting. Mirror box, Bard class, Mox Amber. Um, and then you have, you know, Ren and Six, Asmo, Gallia, Clothis is like good legends. The problem is like you're, you're missing like 10 cards for the deck or so. Oh, interesting. I think I'm taking this. 
Yeah, you're, you're missing like 10 cards for this deck to work. Which is uh, too many, probably. I think I get the bobble, I trigger the trigger the, the anvil. Maybe it's the decisor is better. I'm not that likely to get a, a useful card off of it. My Lurus is also dying to the Lava Mancer. Or is it Saga Package? <laughs> I mean, Saga seems pretty bad in, with all of these green red cards. This has like no synergy in the deck besides grabbing Amber. Okay, not a bad draw. None of these legend stack particularly great. Ah, uh, yeah. Ga no, Galia does. Galia is really Galia and Clothis are, are both very good at multiples. I, I'm actually gonna have to disagree with you. Multiple Clothis, multiple Galia, multiple Ragavan. I, I I disagree. I think I think all of those cards are good at multiples. Um. Okay, so I can go. Oni cut anvil blast. Put them down to six life. Untap attack. They block here. And I sack to anvil. Heal them two more damage. Hit them for one. Yeah, it's not gonna be, not gonna be lethal. I think I'll just you know not take six. Play a bit of a slower grandeur plan. Could the legend deck be a Gigantic deck too? Yeah, probably. Like again, this this is a lot. A lot of my deck lists in my drafts are here, um, or here they get deleted. But like, like I like this 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 is a good start. Like the deck maybe like maybe you. So I was thinking maybe you play Street Wraith. That also helps with the issue that you just don't have enough cards in the deck uh, to function. And then, but you're still missing one more enabler for Asmo. And um, the deck is also probably not that good. And then if you play Street Wraith, you lose Gigantha. But um, at, at this at this point, you are you, this is like pretty close to a list. But like if if there was like a legendary creature, if, yeah, if there was a legendary creature that allowed you to, um, discard a card for Asmo, then like maybe there's something here. Oh yeah, yeah. The deck needs cookbook too. Yeah, I guess I guess you could play cookbook, but then your cookbooks also aren't that that good. I guess I guess that's the other enabler, just cookbook, actually. Obviously, right? Cycle lands. Yeah, cycle lands also go with ridden six. Definitely some synergy there. Oh, the uh, the the the, ch the channel lands also have you know enable Asmo. Probably don't play four cookbook though. You probably play like two. Cause you mostly just like, oh, I don't know. Maybe we play like three. And then this is, gonna be, this is 23 lands with all these red and sixes jobs. You probably want to play like 20 lands. Yeah, it's not that far off. It's not that far off. Oh, Cookbook Ridden Six is actually kind of good. Or, like, at, at the very least, Ridden Six gives you, like, enough cards to discard the Cookbook. Isn't Bergy completely perfect and bonkers here? Uh, that's, that's, it's definitely an exaggeration, but... Oh, wait, there's only three Bard classes. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I missed that, that. Yeah, I think calling Bergy absolutely perfect and bonkers is big-time exaggeration, but... This actually might be a deck. I don't know how I forgot to just put cookbooks in there. Zergo Bell Striker. No, that card is not decent. Zergo Bell Striker is like completely unplayable. This this is like it, it, we we talked about this yesterday. Like yes, like people are talking talking about Zergo in this shell. How are they attacking here? Well, am I gonna die? Yeah, people, people, but yeah, people are talking about Zergo Bell Striker. Zergo Bell Striker is not close to being playable in modern. Oh, lingering souls. It's 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 not close. 
Why is Riki? Uh, I don't know what Riki is. All right, I think I'll send him with the team. Then sack one of these. Vergi discards. Well, the five mana part of Vergi discards. That's that's not an enabler for Cla like five five mana artifacts are not enablers for Asmo. As I mean, technically, but it's not a good enabler. <laughs> Ovia? Yeah, that card's very weak too. Yeah, the the one the other one made a legend. Yeah, what 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 is this card? Reki? I don't know what that card is. Last him. <laughs> Hope if you I mean, yeah, again. That, that card doesn't let you tap your amber. That card also has like no synergies, it's pretty weak. Okay, so we're playing against a Mardu deck with some graveyard synergies and some tokens i don't know that i'm cyborging anything in i guess i could i'll play a nile spell bomb we'll play a nile spell bomb maybe over a, a blast yeah but this this seems i don't know it this deck is not going to be any good like let's let's also not pretend like this deck is secretly good but it could be pretty fun why isn't there a legendary? I guess we would lose legendary restriction because of uh, <laughs> Street Wraith. Reki, whenever you cast a legendary spell, draw a card. Oh, yeah, I've never, I've never seen this card. Okay. I mean, Reki seems good. Kind of. I don't know. It is a three meta card of engine engine you have to untap with. We already have eight three drops. I don't hate it though. Like maybe you just don't play the Asmos. I don't know. The Asmos feel pretty important. Just good like actually have good one mana legends. Give you some good nut draws. Naya with General Rockerick. Huh, it is kind of close. With Bard class, you don't have to untap because the color weight on all your spells makes them zero. Yeah, I mean, but that's like turn two Bard class, turn three level Bard class, then Reki didn't have more spells going. Doesn't seem great. It's interesting. And then, you, like, if they have a real spell, you draw one card, too. Blood Moon feels better than any of these three drops. Yeah, this probably should be a Blood Moon deck. <laughs> um, hmm. These removal spells. Well, Asmo's your removal spell, but you know you can skip on removal spells if you're a proactive deck like this. I don't know. This this list also kind of feels like the manufacturer brew we were messing around with yesterday, where it's cool. There's some like fun stuff happening, but like boy is this deck like pretty bad looking. No matter no matter how you build it. Right. There's nothing wrong with building a bad deck either. Uh, but do we want to spend our time on it? There's other interesting stuff to be doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I, I agree. Yeah, the deck looks super unplayable, but it, it looks also really fun, so so like I, I think that you know I can just kind of like put this vibe out there. This is I this is where we maybe end up and maybe never do anything else. Obviously you need like fetch lands for your Renin Six and maybe like one of each cycle lands, but um You know, maybe may, we'll we'll maybe just pass it on and you guys can see if you figure out anything good. Time of need. I mean, I don't think that we need any like tutor like I, Time of Need doesn't pay up, it doesn't tutor for any of our payoffs. Oh, brutal. Just tutors for dopey creatures. We do still have, you know, Double Saga, Synthesizer, We're doing okay. Red Legend through job that makes satyrs when your critters die. No, I don't know that card. 
But yeah, I, I, if you guys think that deck looks fun or interesting, I encourage you to play it. I'm, I'm probably not going to spend any time on it. But you never know. I might get bored. <laughs> uh, I might get bored. We'll see. Okay, I think I'll take a turn off of Saga Ying so I can crack the Spell Bomb to get the Souls token gone. Is that good? It's fine. Oh, Top of D does tutor for Mirror Box. Yeah, that's true. The legends are all rare out of who has that many wild cards. Yeah, who has that many wild cards for a deck like this, too? <laughs> yeah, we got we had four Mox Amber in the deck. Did Lingering Souls make Neo tokens? Um Yes, but the Neo tokens don't have flying on them, but they're still like flying they're flying down here. Okay, well. I'm glad that they main phase that, I guess. Because the synthesizer first. Okay. Oh, well. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go cast Oven here, cast the Squirrel, cast the Ragavan. If my uh, Ragavan gets bolted and I don't get to cast the Squirrel, it's kind of a disaster there, so I'll just play it safe. Multiple Anax would make multiple satyrs all work with Galia. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. There's some synergy there. Probably doesn't make me excited enough to play the deck, but there is something there. Kind of a classic uh, more than nothing, less than something situation, perhaps. To run Shinka and Ona and the Legends deck? Uh, well, with your Rin and Six and your, like, channel lands, there might not be room. If you feel like there's room, then maybe, yeah. Torbran? <laughs> Is there a way to make it mono red with Torbran and this card, this other card? You lose Bard class, which is one of like your main enablers, but Bard class isn't that good with the Mono Red Legends anyways. So I'm going to get a Shadow Spear here, I think. The Rocco, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Okay, yeah, so so you, you're mono red and you lose Bard Glass as a payoff, but maybe Bard Glass, Park Glass is not that good anyways. And then you play Annex, Torbrands. You lose Ren and Six too. Ren and Six is like you're like one of your main enablers for Mox Amber, to be honest. But Tor getting multiple um, Torbrands in play with mirror boxes and millions and millions of damage so that's cool should just play pioneer ah pioneer is a format pioneer has all these cards besides ragavan and asmo but yeah <laughs> dude i forgot about pioneer <laughs> wow okay so when i make my grand return to pioneer we've got a we've got a deck idea huh <laughs> Yeah, just put freaking Kari's Ev in your deck, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, Pioneer. <laughs> I, I totally forgot that that was a format. <laughs> but what if we play Winota? <laughs> Is there any way Winota does anything? Probably not. Yeah, Wizards forgot about Pioneer, too. Too real. Too soon, huh? Yeah, I think attacking with the, this token construct is nothing. They just block and sack. I'm going to Indy for the team open. I'm going to um, 
the energy in Chicago in two weekends, and then the Hunter Burton is coming up. The it's it's the weekend after. Yeah, the, the Hunter Burton is the weekend after Chicago. So I have two paper tournaments coming up in a row, and then um, uh, and then I'm going to be playing the the Open in Dallas, uh, which is it's not really in Dallas; it's in Fort Worth. But it's uh, it's also in my which is my hometown, Fort Worth, and it's also that's also my birthday weekend. So, like, I couldn't have asked for a better birthday present. The first SCG Open back in Fort Worth is on my birthday weekend, uh, and it's a, it's 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 re that's really exciting for me. So, uh, I'm gonna be doing that. Why isn't Ragavan would have done anything? That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Ephemerate Stitcher Supplier. We're playing Yorian and Jessica Lotusfield. Jessica Lotusfield draws billions of cards. It doesn't need Yorian for more grindiness. And you lose out on, like, you're going to have your nut draws less often. Oh, sorry, I meant to sack that to Evan. My opponent's also dead on board. I don't really need to do anything. How soon is my Grease Wing deck? Liked all the powerful. I, I it seemed I seemed fine. I, I I will definitely play the deck again, but um, I don't necessarily have too many more ideas for it. We've played it a bunch, but maybe we'll play some tomorrow or Thursday or something. Do magic players in your area call Fort Worth by the name Value Town? Um, yeah. So I've got I've got three big paper tournament weekends coming up, but I've also you know pretty busy with the house hunting and everything. But I'm excited. <laughs> Annex triggers with Trader of Winota, not the same deck. Why? Winota's a legend, too. Winota is... Dude, multiple Winotas in play with Mirror Box. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine a disgusting amount of value? <laughs> oh, the uh, green-white taxes list. Cool. Glad to see some people still trying uh, this deck out. I'm not gonna sack my oven to the to the anvil here. The anvil can sack itself, which is pretty relevant against like prismatic ending. How did scales build? We went three two. Uh, the deck, we actually two owed mill, which was pretty exciting. Um, Immercole tanked Tatasha's hideous laughter for us. Uh, uh, and then uh, Patrick was good. I liked it. It it, did, it wasn't like broken or anything. Uh, it didn't, like, reinvent the wheel, but it was fine. Lion Sash. I, I hate to say this, chat. I hate to say this. I've been playing some Lion Sash lately. My first ever preview card. It hasn't really been that good. I think I'll pay. Yeah, I, I hate to say it. It hasn't really been that good, though. Uh, let's go to make a token here. I have three ovens. I think we can just go ahead and get a token. First DFW, DFW, first UP, 32 Jace in the top eight. Yeah, that was, that was before my time. Like, Tester was great in taxes. Yeah, it's fine. Like, yeah, it, also, especially because taxes can vile in Lion Sash. It's kind of cool. Um, but like, I, I like Boros Stoneblade, I was playing some Esper Stoneblade with Lion Sash last night, and I, at the very least, didn't like it in the main deck, and I don't know if I would, like, necessarily even sideboard it. Which hurts, because it's, I, I love this card. Okay, this is fine. You know, this is a big issue, I think, for the Taxes deck, is, like, Besaidu is, like, so awkward when you don't have, like... Like, Besage you is definitely the kind of card that works against your mana denial strategy when you don't have your, um... When you don't have your, uh, Arbiter in play. And, like, you're an 80 card deck. You're not gonna have Arbiter in play that often. Okay, if they had Thalia, they would have already vialed it in. So I think I'm gonna dash the monkey... Is there an Oswald taxes list that could be vile? Or is that just Fiddlebender? Uh, yeah, I don't think that... I, I'm trying to, I'm not really sure what, like, exactly what you're describing. I, I don't think... Um, yeah. 
I don't, I don't think it would be too different. Yeah, 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 Sash being tutorable is why it's good. Like, if you couldn't tutor, tutor with Stoneforge Mystic, it would be, like, just not, not a good card, probably. But, um, it is also true this is a card I was wanting to try and harden scales. Like, a, a build of scales with, like, more Springleaf Drums, but I don't know if I'll ever get around to that. Is Renin Six free with Bard Class level two? I I sure hope so. Bard Class isn't it's it's leg, Bard Class is legendary spells, not creatures, right? I'm already I mean I'm already never playing the deck, but <laughs> now maybe I'll never play it even harder. Um, we have some two drops obviously in the deck we could miss by sacking the synthesizer here, but it's only six cards out of the the deck. We missed the. Disciple trigger if we don't play it first. So I think I, I think I'm gonna play the disciple before sacking synthesizer. How close is Ooze to seeing playing scales? Um, I guess you could play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't I don't I agree. I don't think you should, but you could. Like it wouldn't be embarrassing. But what's embarrassing, huh? They took the vial up to four. Probably gonna lose game one. I think we played this matchup last week. It didn't seem that bad. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe it did seem that bad. <laughs> Or the samurai token. If you spend three mana to sack synthesizer, it gives you a samurai too. Synthesizer is a pretty good. This card's pretty strong. Like what's what's nice about ooze over sash and scales is like you're kind of not tutoring it anyways, and like you have more green mana than white mana usually. Okay, I'm probably losing to the cauldron. We've been flooding out a lot today. It's just kind of funny because we had this long conversation about if we're playing too many sources. I know I know our curve's like really low, but I think I think you know, we have 19 lands and a drum, and four of those are saga. I feel like we're doing fine on our number of sources. Still gonna flood out sometimes, obviously. Okay, so let's bring in Pithing Needle, Pirate Spell Bomb. Probably just these two cards. And then. I feel like trimming disciples kind of interesting. Trimming the disciple in a blast. Are there any good gruel aggro decks in modern? Um, good gruel aggro decks. I mean, there's Ponza. It's kind of fallen out of favor lately. I've been playing some gruel lists that are not that good lately, too. Shamans? Yeah, there's shamans. Shamans is cool. Not that good, though. <laughs> um, okay, let's keep this. I'll put back the needle. Yeah, I can play red green scales. X Shrinker? I think X Shrinker is pretty bad. Hexdrinker got so much worse when they printed Prismatic Ending, it's crazy. Because it used to be all the removal of modern was uh, instant speed. So, at the least when you leveled it up to three to level 2, uh, it would, it would you know, be hard, really hard to kill. But now, now it's just like you spend 4 mana on it, then they ending it for 1 mana, and you just, you know, never register the card again. So my opponent has Archon on top. Archon is very good against my um, Synthesizer, of course. But we can play the Synthesizer before the Archon comes down next turn. Next turn we play the Synthesizer, Archon comes down in two turns. I think I take a look at uh, list for 10 bucks official Baba. I, I, I just can't look at them for free. It's too time consuming, unfortunately. You can also save up channel points too. Sweet, sweet channel points. Okay, play Swamp. Play Disciple. 
play Oven Pass. The March from the end will replace ending. No, it will not replace ending. Ending is going to be mostly better, but you will see some people play some copies of Marches in addition to, or maybe in the sideboard, but it is not replace ending now. For the perks of being VIP on the channel, uh, VIP gives you almost nothing besides clout. Uh, it does let you not use emotes during emote only mode. Um. I, that might be the like literally only perk besides having the nice uh, badge next to your name. Okay, so we'll just sack this to itself. We don't get to search because of the arbiter, but it's okay. Play marches in number five last weekend. Yeah, how how did you like it? Was it good? All right, and then we have got a uh, million channel point redemption. Don't get too many of those. We have definitely been getting more lately. Would you like to be a VIP or mod, wizard? <laughs> unlimited clout or unlimited responsibility? <laughs> VIP, baby, an excellent choice, a classy choice. 80 cards, by the way. 80 cards, by the way. But if they're not Archoning here, this is fine. I just get to go Luris Bobble. Welcome to the team. Oh, whoops. I accidentally added uh, FlyP84 as a VIP instead. I copied the wrong username. Uh, you can keep the VIP, though. <laughs> I feel, feel too bad to undo it. A free VIP... A generous, a generous aspiring spike, huh? Crockett, thank you for the three months. <laughs> what, are you, what am I going to do? Un-VIP? No way. No way. <laughs> okay, Solitude pitching the Archon we know about. I'll sack it to the oven. Okay, I'll take the tier one. Appreciate you. And I'm gonna bubble myself and have Galvanic Blast on top. I'll shock. If I don't, I won't. Oh yeah, that does sound like a, a typo on the article. I'll see if I can issue a retraction. Okay, one minute short of casting this. I think we'll just pass. Pretty likely to uh, sack the food token and the turn off the drum and the treasure. Deal my opponent two. So, anyways, I started blasting. I think I just blast them. Just to just attack here. Not sure, not sure if they have any tricks or anything. We're pretty ahead. Yeah, I'm glad. That, yeah, I'm glad people are still loving the the Jun sack list. It's definitely a, a deck that's very near and dear to my heart. Okay. Pretty close to killing them next turn, assuming my disciple lives. They've got one card in their hand. We're, we're pretty ahead. 
I play Elden Ring on stream Thursday. Okay, actually, I said I was going to. Uh, I have, um, I have a, wait, they pitched the Arbiter instead of putting Yori on their hand? I have D&D &D on Thursday, so I'm going to see if we can maybe push that to Wednesday instead so I can play Elden Ring, but um, I, might, I might just do it Friday. We'll see. Uh, Spaz, thank you for the, the, the five gifted subs. Appreciate you. Going to game three. Seamus Pryor with the seven months. Appreciate you too. Let me actually message the group. Okay, hold on. When we say Elden Ring comes out Thursday night, can someone look up and see what time, like actual the time it comes available? Cause if it's if it's like midnight, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it. Deputy with 13 months, appreciate you. Um, uh, keep this put back as synthesizer. Five p.m. Six p.m. Free. Okay, then then yes, that is uh. That is something we can do. We're gonna play the bobble, not sack it yet. I want a second for the trigger the anvil. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Ooh, well, obviously would want to blast this. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna end of turn blast this, then untap and play. Oh, I can't play squirrel and anvil because I don't have, I have this color source here. Did I miss any subs? <laughs> I missed if Bear gets us the subs. If you're gifts for Bear, make sure to thank him. <laughs> that card's really good against us. We do have answers to it, of course. So let's go Anvil. Bobble, trigger anvil. See if I have see what I have in top. Ragavan. Ragavan's not too good. It's not too bad either, but I'll just I'll just play it a saga here. I've like the new Springleaf Trump. Uh yeah, Moonstar prototype is really good. Cards are great. Okay, so I, I'll at least get to sack the anvil, but yeah, Ar Ar Archon is really, obviously, very good against a deck like this with such a cheap curve. Uh, and my Pirate Spell Bomb also doesn't kill it, which is a problem. I'm pretty sure I'm just making a token. Yeah, just making a token. Down to nine, I don't think I'm supposed to trade token for Skyclave. All right, second Archon's gonna be tough. First Archon, it just means that we, we are gonna be probably locked underneath it the whole game. Uh, so I think I'm getting Shadow Spear. I think I'm getting Shadow Spear. And I can equip I can equip Shadow Spear this turn, but or I could just make a token. I feel like equipping the spear is pretty important. But getting getting another token in case they have a removal spell is probably probably a little bit more important. And then I think I'm actually gonna play an oven over the Ragavan, where the Ragavan just like isn't connecting. <laughs> This game, or at least it's not gonna be super relevant. And so, if they do have a removal spell, I get, I get to sack, uh, sack a token and get uh, two foods, which makes my other construct really big. Any JRPGs? Uh, no, I've never never played any JRPGs. Okay, so they've cast their one spell this turn. They could potentially have like Solitude or Path. 
But they've tapped out. Okay, them tapping out is obviously huge for us. Us drawing a land is a really big deal too. Oh, oh sorry, it's Ender's tapped because of stupid Archon of Cruelty. Okay, so let me equip here. And then... Probably playing Ragavan over Synthesizer. Th Synthesizer lets them draw a card and... Um, Ragav Ragavan, like, at least blocks, right? Don't think I want to play Squirrel. Yeah, so if they do have Solitude, I get to gain 6 life, so it's it's not going to be that big a deal. Oh yeah, I always call this Archon of Cruelty instead. Obviously, you know, <laughs> I know they're different cards, but... Yeah, I always, uh, I always make that, uh, mistake. Oh, just miscalling it. Yeah, our card of cruelties does not deserve to be compared to a card like this. So, yeah, five cards in hand. One of them is their Yorion. They're also at eight life, and I've got a Shrapnel Blast. Pretty cool game. Gameplay feels, I don't know, Neon Dynasty gameplay, I, it feels like the format hasn't changed that much, but it also feels like the gameplay is really different, but I, I guess I only—I I, I have to only feel that way because I'm just doing nothing but brewing, actually. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I, I, I only feel that way because I'm doing so much brewing. <laughs> the brewer's bias, they call it. They play Besage you as a lands. Then they Yorion. Hmm. I think I'm going to sack Ragavan end of turn. Well, I guess we'll see what they target with the Skyclave. Because that's that's definitely an issue here, right? They probably target the Shadow Spear. Yeah. Yes, I think I just I just attack with my two constructs first, right? And I imagine they have to double chomp. Chad, it's, it's not letting me. It's not letting me... I guess I don't need to reorder it. I want to put this one first, though. It's not letting me do it. I don't know what's going on. It's not letting me order the blockers. I'm going to be pretty mad if they, like, solitude this. Or, I guess it wouldn't be any different. But it wasn't, it wasn't letting me order the Archon first. <laughs> it probably won't matter. It, it does kind of look like they've got a, a solitude here. You lose both this way. I mean, I I know I know I lose both, but I mean unlocking my hand is 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 worth losing both. <laughs> uh, absolutely worth losing both here. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna go squirrel, squirrel, blast the Yorion. Dirty Ginger, thank you for 13 months. Appreciate you. I was on the other one. Wait, I have to click the creature itself? Is that how that works? I don't remember it working that way. Maybe, right? Activate Saga. I think that this is better. I think this is better. These squirrels are going to be uh, like 5-5s five next turn. Don't you click the creature drag? Yeah, that's what I did. I, yeah, I, yeah, you click the creatures that are blocking, not the creatures that are attacking, right? You only order one set of blockers at a time. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I, I guess that's pretty uncommon to like to order two at the same time. Yeah, like usually it's it's weird to have like two creatures get double blocked in the same combat. I see, I see. Did you ever play Death and Taxes? I mean, I played everything. <laughs> I played everything, man. I played everything, man. Tapped Aladdin's ring, man. Marry at Lage with Fling, man. Oh, 
Well, okay, hold on. So I kill the I kill the Skyclave, makes this a 4-4, four, four, and then I can make this a 6-6 six, six in combat, which means that they have to block the Squirrel or have Solitude. So I guess it's probably safer to kill the Stoneforge Mystic anyways, though, right? Since it's not like any difference on the jump block, right? Yeah, Cat shows up at the last moment to save the day. <laughs> yeah, I've actually played everything, and I love every deck besides your pet deck. <laughs> the one deck I just, I just don't care that much for. Alright, pass him back. Have I played any slivers of modern? I've had like two or three dono decks for slivers, yeah. I've had like I've had like at least at least one for um Spike, can you build silver slivers the best you possibly can? And then Spike, like, here I built slivers, play it. Back when I used to do dono decks. I think it's a Thalia. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure that we will play the the uh, the Jun Sack deck again. Uh, I'd probably leave the food in play. You can do a trick where you can sack both food tokens holding priority to the familiar to get an extra counter on the squirrel, but I don't think an extra counter on the squirrel really does anything. Uh, my opponent also looks pretty close to being dead on board. This is leaves the battlefield, right? Yeah. So I guess I can at least sack this first, see if this changes anything. I think I think it have solitude. Yeah, they can have solitude. Mm hmm. Oh wait. Hmm. Thalia. Hmm. But this probably means they have to block with Thalia. I guess. I guess maybe not. If they solitude the token, block the squirrel. Yeah. I mean. I mean. Yeah. Thalia's forced to jump if they have nothing, but they could have solitude. No. <laughs> How much for another donut? Like, I don't do donut decks anymore. I uh, I have a... Listen, all the donut decks I used to do in the past, they've left me with this giant stack of money in my living room that uh, rats are currently eating. And if, if I'm being honest, the rats are getting a little too fat. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like I'm being an unethical rat owner by letting them eat too much cash. So no donut decks. I would I would love to play this deck in Chicago. I might I might I might do that. We'll see. If I only had one modern deck of choice to play, what would it be? Um Well, I would definitely play a lot less if I could only play one deck. I think I'm playing Glimpse. Uh, I would definitely I would definitely play a lot less magic if I could only play one deck. Um But it would probably be like Grixis Shadow. Yeah, there's a um, NRG tournament in Chicago. Mm, yeah, <clears throat> does does kind of look like a glimpse combo to me. Yeah, maybe, maybe Lutri. Yeah, I hope to see some of you guys there. I've ne I've never been to Chicago. Caleb D invited me to go. Uh, be on a team with him, and uh, I'm pretty excited. I also I also don't know anybody up there. Like, I don't know Caleb super well. But I'm sure we're gonna hang out, but um, I'm a bit nervous to go, to be honest. Oh, it's the yeah, the omniscience version. Yeah, let's see uh, see how lucky they are today. Wait, they misclicked. I think well, that stinks. Oh, it's three and one. Am I gonna eat a hot dog in Chicago? Uh, is that like a, a rite of passage or something? Kale, ten bucks. How many spikes are my only help? You mostly link in chat. I'll take it. I'll take it. Was it at the near? I said I, I. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I don't. I don't really know anything about it. <laughs> Did you see NASA discovered a new galaxy? They named it Solcon. 
Is that that's the whole name of the galaxy? I feel like it would have been Sulcon something. They probably would have put something after Sulcon, but what would they have put? Sulcon, Sulcon what? Sulcon, Sul Sulcon what? <laughs> okay, blue red breach. Uh, where did it go? Did I just delete it? Or exit out? Okay. I don't usually like Jace too much in Breach. Like, I don't like that you're tapping out for it. It's usually pretty fragile because you're, you're often like a little bit behind a board in these kind of games. Um, playing Blood Moon and Valakid Awakening and Arc Breach's Charm is probably not correct either. And playing playing Valakid Awakening, Arc Breach's Charm with no. Uh, oh no. Dude, maybe their deck is broken. This is the second time they've done this to us. <laughs> uh, playing Valakid Awakening. Yeah, you, you need you need. I think that if you're gonna play two Valakid Awakening, you need three Cascade Bluffs in your deck. And I think I'd rather just see the Blood Moons move to the sideboard. Fourth Snapcaster Mage over the Immercall. I usually do like Snapcaster a lot in this deck. I would also maybe play like two Furies too, two main deck Furies over the Blood Moon. I kind of like that. I don't like Test of Talents too much. Usually like Spell Pierce, Fluster Storm more because they're one mana. Yeah, Cyborg feels a little all over the place to be honest. So what's my game plan here? I guess my game plan is to attack them and then Shrapnel Blast the Archon and hope to somehow beat the Zugan. I don't have a Needle in the main deck, right? I think the Needle's in the sideboard, yeah. Okay, so my opponent's going down to eight life. So let me bobble myself. Shadow Spear. Okay, so if they fetch down to seven, yeah, if they fetch down to seven, I could kill them if I draw a second Shrapnel Blast. But they didn't fetch down to seven. So I just, I just lose, I think. I don't think I could beat Archon. I blast them down to three, they gain three, then Shrapnel Blast just doesn't, it just doesn't do it. He'll kill the Ugin. Yeah, I think I'd like to see, like, Dress Down over Anger of the Gods. Like, three Spell Pierce as your counter spells. Three Relic of Progenitus. Yeah, three Dress Down, three Relic, three Spell Pierce. That's nine cards. Still two E is probably fine. I think you've got some flex spots. Canister, thanks for the raid, dude. Hope you're having a good day. Welcome to all the Faithless Looters. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these ley lines. Probably taking an L here. You can maybe like sideboard juke with uh, Murktide Regent or Ragavan. Ragavan's actually kind of interesting too if people are gonna board out some removal against you. I could see I could see Ragavan being a, a somewhat good sideboard card. Any chance that Saga does it? No, no, no. Let's go to game two. Okay, so we're gonna bring in the Thought Seizes. We don't have too much else for Glimpse. Yeah, I may just cut the Anvils, just try to be like as lean, as mean as possible, and um, try to race. Should think KO, good luck to you. Yeah, Breach is definitely also, I will say, in a rough spot because of Solitude. Like that card is such a nightmare for the deck. Terminates? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I, 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 like, terminating an Archon does feel like a losing game plan to me. Uh, I'll probably keep this at this sort of dual land, but it's our mountain. Let's go ahead and send it back. So it's definitely a lot better. Put back the spear, I think. You want Needle? Needle for like Ugin? I don't know. Maybe. I, I really think that like we're supposed to hope their glimpses aren't nuts 
And if they are nuts, like, we're going to hope to burn them out or just lose. Like, I think trying to play reactively against Ugin and Archon is not a winning game plan against against their deck. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, but it seems better to just be as aggressive as possible and then, you know, lose to them having good uh, glimpses. And obviously we have Thoughtseize to disrupt them, too. Up by Moon to Garden. Yeah, again, I think I think that, like, all of these suggestions seem pretty weak and, like, they miss a lot of things. I think this is probably the best game plan. Have time for deck tech? Yeah, yeah, we've, been, we've done a, a bunch of them today, but I've, I've got time. Okay, let's play the Synthesizer, I think. We can cast, we can cast anything. It's just a bit awkward if... um. We find something that we maybe want to play more than the saga. Like if we if we find I guess I, I started out the anvils, never mind. There's actually no bad hits there. Maybe shrapnel blast is not great. Okay, pretty easy violent outburst, right? Like I don't need to take the fury. Yeah, I saw the Jun Food deck. We were talking about. Uh, yeah, you can possibly get chat killed, Jeff. I think we're gonna get the subs. Uh, we we're talking about like the differences between that and this one. They were talking about maybe trying Guild of Goose and Trail of Crumbs, and this shell as opposed to the you know like uh, the burn spells. But like this matchup and like the, the Tron matchup we played earlier, they're just like such glowing reviews for why I think you just need the burn spells instead because this deck is already pretty good in the grindy matchups like you can make your grindy matchups better by playing those kinds of cards or <laughs> or uh but, but but you make your combo and big mana matchups so so bad by playing trail of clums ren and six like these kinds of like slow two drops that your opponents just don't care about they just couldn't give less of a care about these cards and, and but if you, but playing play, playing the blast just like means like you, you just get to you just get to kill these decks, you get to goldfish on turn four a lot of the time, turn three sometimes. Oh boy! <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me finish this game real quick. Okay, we do get to make a token and then double blast off of the drum. Guess we attack first. Yeah, the the burn package has been it's been really good. Like it's also synergistic, or at least the shot of last star. At least that's that's my take, right? I could be wrong. I haven't played the junk food version, but that's my take, right? Blast him. Right, again, I'm just not going to mess around with any of, like, the nonsense cards. So, Mono Green Devotion. With only two Nykthos. Okay, first thing is you need a Yavamaya. Yavamaya lets you sometimes untap Nykthos with Arbor Elf, which is pretty sick. In fact, if I was building this deck, I probably couldn't help myself but play, like, two Yavamaya for Nykthos. I would play, I would play only one Besage you in this deck. I think the downside of drawing two Besage Yus is not... Worth the upside of channeling twice. Um, what is this card? You turn X legendary cards with a channel. Um, this card seems very slow and weak. I don't think I would play any copies of it. And so you're trying to replicate, or you're just, wait, I, I, okay, I don't understand the replicate, repudiate, like if there's a trigger of your own that you're trying to counter, or if there's like specific stuff of your opponents you're trying to counter, I know that you can, ha you have your waterlog groves. Okay, so I, I, I mean, you should have a breeding pool here to be able to cast the, the replicate side of this, but I don't, I also don't understand why they're here in the first place. Need to worth it over fourth oven. I mean, fourth oven gives you really fast kills with squirrel sometimes. I, I again, I, I don't think so. I, I really, I really think, I really think we're just trying to, we're just trying to go fast. Like ne needling Ugin does not feel like a winning line to me. It could, it could be like, but like it's just so easy for them to. Oh, whoops! It's so easy for them to glimpse into uh, their other payoffs, right? Their archon instead. 
I would play Squirrel on turn one. I definitely want to get a bit of a clock going. Where I come for the squirrels. Um, th this list is pretty different. Um, it, this list is pretty different from the first version. But the squirrels have been really, really good. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand the replicate repudiate, to be honest. Maybe play more Trinisphere. Trinisphere seems pretty good. Yeah, but I'd be on like four Nykthos, two Yavimaya, and just trying to like untap Nykthos with the Arbor Elf seems really good. And then it's also possible that Hierarchs are better than Elves in this deck. Exalted may be better than 1-1. One, one. I guess not again, not a Ragavan meta. Never mind. Never mind. I would want the th full the two two endurance main, two endurance side is probably how I would play this. Probably play the fourth force of vigor too, to be honest. Right. This is bad for us if my opponent has two cascade spells, but they only have one. Need a little bit of help from the top of our library. Yeah, I, I don't. I think Horn of Queen is probably a bit of a trap. It's probably not that good in that many matchups. To Ooze is probably not that good. Just play more endurances instead. Yeah, this this seems fine. I don't like. I don't like Shigeki. That card seems really weak, and I I, I just straight up don't understand replicate repudiate. Who's out with the hammer? This is Ornstein and Smo from Dark Souls. And in, in the game, it's it's it's. In the game, Smo has a giant hammer and Ornstein has a spear, and so it's you know, Shadow Spear and Colossus Hammer. I made that uh the edit. <laughs> I'm very proud of it. Stifle for fetch. I, I see, I see. I, I if you're gonna play it, if you think it's good, you should have you should have a breeding pool so you can cast the other side of it as a fetchable target, but I, I think it's probably not that strong. Oh, I thought they would have gotten an untapped land to suspend Glimpse. Instead, they're going to kill my Saga, which actually just fixes my mana. <laughs> just fixes my mana here. This is very fine. Now, I think about Furying my Squirrel, which I will just sack. I am going to miss that Squirrel. So, so now I can thought seize their glimpse, so they can't suspend it at least, and their hand is just going to be an Emrakul. Let's see what we draw. Pretty good draw. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, they pitched the glimpse. Oh, no. I was obviously, so I was supposed to play the Disciple. I didn't realize that they pitched the glimpse. Yeah, so that's uh, missing out on a point of damage here, and obviously missing out on using my mana efficiently. So we'll see if that two damage ends up being... Two damage in the mana ends up being relevant. Um, should I play Shadow Spear, or should I play Synthesizer? We'll play the Synthesizer. Be good to hit a land. I have some other good cards to hit, like Bobble. Did hit the land. Lucky us. And then I can also I can hold priority. I can hold priority to sack both foods to get an extra damage. I don't necessarily need to do that now. This deck is like half a popper deck. Uh I don't know. I feel like most of our cards are uncommons, right? This is, oh, this is a common. Uncommon though, uncommon. This is a common. Yeah, we have, we have, we have a lot of commons and uncommons. Nothing wrong with being a popper deck, of course. Ravenous Squirrel. So let's attack. We put them, attacking puts them to at least nine. Oh, they just take it? Yeah, I think that this probably kills them then. Yeah, this this, this kills them. Assuming they don't have anything. <laughs> well, if there was any doubt. Yeah, they're, they're dead to me bringing back the familiar though. Okay. Four and oh, let's get a prediction going. 
I only have one trophy this season. Be nice to get a second one. So the plan of just dodging the hate pieces is, I think, pretty doable. And it is always, of course, like a really important um, thing for these decks, type of decks. About Throne of Gath. Well, we don't... What, what would Throne of Gath do for us? Like, I don't feel like there's almost anything that's good to proliferate in the deck, right? I guess we've got... We have some counters on, like, the Squirrel and stuff. Is that it? Okay, can maybe another option? It would be. I think Grudge would be better, but... I mean... You guys are just all addicted to Kolagon's command. There's there's no helping any of you. You're hopeless. <laughs> okay, uh, Swamp, Inquisition, Luris. So play Chalice one big O. Yeah, yeah. Wait, in this in this in our matches? Or against you. Unless I am I just totally rem misremembering? Yeah, I'm not saying that literally no one is playing it, but I just I don't see it very often, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree that Sturdy Silence and Rest in Peace in Chalice all could see more play, although it is kind of awkward to play a million Chalices with, like, you know, the amount of, like, big mana decks. Against me? Wh which opponent played a Chalice against me? Do you remember? Remember what the matchup was? Because I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it didn't happen, but I don't remember it. The Tron opponent. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they did. I mean, but uh, Tron has a Chalice of the Void in the sideboard that they can tutor with Karn. That is a, that is a bit different from a deck that's main decking Chalice too. Okay, I don't need to blast in response. Obviously a bit risky to fire off the shrapnel blast here, but they go into seven life. Seems fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that that was a chalice we saw though. You are right. We did see a chalice. I did forget about that one. Oh boy. Kind of summarize my thoughts on the Parkelion deck. Yeah, it's somewhat powerful. It's got a lot of nut draws, a few different ways you can build it too. Um, I'm not sure how competitive it is. And I'm not sure. You know, it, it like that deck also like loses a lot of value once people like know what's up because it's just pretty easy to like 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 you lose losing that surprise factor. I think is a big deal. I've got blockers. Be interesting. Interesting to see if we can pull out the last five points of damage. Jeff, thank you for 22 months. Appreciate you. Spell bomb. This is game one. I don't have any spell bombs. Oven and kill them dead. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing the line with oven. Not that it's not there, but I. I don't see it. <laughs> Not my shark, even with Prime. I just take eight. I could also jump block with the construct. Like that puts my opponent down to four if I do that. Unless you grind them out with jump blocks. Yeah, maybe that's the case, but. Leaves the Ragavan straight in my hand. We to a discard spell. Yeah, but yeah, but maybe, maybe Oven. Uh, also, if they ever kill my... They can probably kill the Disciple, too. Um, or, like, it's it's at least somewhat likely that they can kill the Disciple, which makes that line a little less appealing. It's not a bad hit. Jump blocking while you can. Before losing Dress Down. Yeah... Okay, weird Snapcaster. <laughs> What's funny is they're probably playing Snapcaster over like the third copy of Dress Down, <laughs> which like totally wins in this game. Yeah, this is the best synthesizer deck I put together by a lot. Uh, synthesizer's been really good here. Um, so I could play around Dress Down by using the Construct to make a Construct and then I'd still have two blockers, but they just don't even think they've got attacks. 
which is pretty good for me. They put Lurus in their hand, and they are dead. Yeah, I have, I have liked these matchups against the uh, against the Lurus decks. I, I, it's, oh, they've got Dressed Down on top. Jeez. Um, pretty sure they're dead, at least. Well, that'll do it. Um, yeah, I like these matchups. So anyways, I started blasting. So let's bring a needle for engineered explosives. Terminate. Then I think I might actually trim a saga because they, they have like so many dress downs and alpine moons. Probably can't cut more than one copy because we don't have that many lands, but I think trimming a saga is fine. And trim a shrapnel blast. And trim a disciple. I put anything with Urza and Synthesizer. I, I have, yeah, but it's actually my opinion that you don't want four drops in your Synthesizer deck. Like you you really want to be able to cast your Synthesizer on turn two and think and think that you'll usually be able to um to hit a spell off of it that you can cast or land, right? And or and then on like turn three, you feel very confident that you're like or or basically for sure be able to synthesizer and always play your spell off of it. Which is why like synthesizer is kind of awkward in Asmo decks, where you have uh, four daredevils that you can't get any value off of. That was a, that was definitely a big issue. You trimmed a saga, I drew two, unfortunately. Well, we'll see, it could be less, more fortunate. Is Terminator push pushed mostly for prime time? I mean, it's for prime time and Merktide Regent. And the 15, five cards in hand. Hmm. I, I'm definitely like, I feel like I'm pretty incentivized to wait on the the saga because of dress down and, and moons and stuff. Like they're just like not gonna be that good in this matchup. And I think I'm gonna play the anvil and hope it doesn't drown. Yeah, it does get drowned. The fancy smanshi uh, secret layer drown too. Iteration. This deck is literally red black burn. I mean, it is, yeah. Like this is very much a red black, a red black aggressive deck that is trying to whittle down your opponent's life total. A lot of times, sometimes through creature combat, but oftentimes without. Sounds like burn to me. Hmm. Okay, so let's play Saga, and I think I'm just gonna play Familiar Disciple and not blast the the Ragavan. Yep, there's the there's the moon that we feared so much. But in the end we were powerless to stop it. <laughs> Even trimmed it. I guess I I could trim two sagas. Maybe that's maybe that's what you have to do. Uh do I blast this Ragavan so that I can attack? Yeah, I guess so. My mana's pretty spoken for next turn because I can either synthesizer or Luris in hand. How good is Squirrel? Squirrel's really good. You don't, yeah, you don't activate the ability very much, but just like the, it, it gets triggered a lot. Um, it would have been really good this game because if if the saga didn't get mooned, because we get to get oven for our familiar. Another iteration. Two cards in their hand. Definitely playing the oven. Do you have a third copy of Drown? Sucks. <laughs> Dang it. And they put a card on top of their library too, so I feel like we're not that likely to win game two here. We'll get to another play for game three. Does Lurus make Alpine Moon better than Blood Moon in a lot of decks? Um, It's a bit more complicated than that, right? Where a lot of decks that play Alpine Moon can't play Blood Moon because of their mana restrictions, but it's also true the third Saga. I trimmed a Saga. This is so unfair. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go game three. <laughs> Do I go down to two? I guess I'll go down. I'm on the play. I think on the play I should. I need to keep it. Um, it's also true that like Alpine Moon is way better against Urza Saga than Blood Moon because it's you know a one mana answer to a land as opposed to a three mana one. All right, it all comes down to this, huh? 
Why not sec the synthesizer? I mean, if I sec synthesizer, all I, I I either hit a land or I get no no value off of it. It's just like I have no uh, there's nothing I can hit that's really good. <laughs> so I just it's gonna take the L. Okay, so let's play the squirrel, and then on my opponent's upkeep, I'm gonna sack both bobbles to play around on holy heats. The old oh, one mana three three card. I don't I don't know if there's any one mana three threes in modern. If there were, they probably would be banned because this is just too strong. Yeah, doing again, doing this now to play around heat. Anvil. Okay, well, I knew I was drawing. Maybe I guess could have bobbled myself first to see if I was drawing anvil. Hmm. You know how many games I played during the last season? Uh, yeah, you, there's no way to just like get that info without um, like wizards telling you somehow. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's like an official channel to request that info either. I don't think that there is. <laughs> Asmo is one man three three plus a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was mostly referring to the cat all, but yeah, As Asmo is a uh, legal for sure. Certainly a legal card. Okay, so rest in peace, squirrel. You got us really ahead on mana. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit a one drop off the synthesizer. Just like, just like triggering the triggering the anvil, triggering the disciple, is worth it here. I do have some two mana spells I'm missing, but not that many. Yeah, I mean, I already played the, my land for turn, but this would have just it just would have got sogged or up by mooned anyways. <laughs> it would have just gotten mooned anyways. You could go throw your replays. Your replays don't they don't save. Um, it doesn't save everything. I don't, I don't know exactly how many matches it saves, but. It is uh, not the whole season. Is a brew of mine or a collab? I mean, it's it's a brew of mine. It's so it, it, I definitely took a lot of inspiration though from Arya's red black sack list that's playing like blood gas bombardment, uh, stitcher supplier. It's like this brew is a blend of like my first draft of the deck, uh, which is playing the food package and trying to combo kill with Ravager Disciple, and then seeing Arya's list and seeing how good Squirrel is in that deck. If you're interested in the in Arya's list, you can find a guide for it on CFB Pro. But modern legal cards are similar to transmute artifacts. There, there's um, there's a very similar card to transmute artifact that's worse. I can't remember it. Yeah, Arya is in Hogpog. Yeah, Hogpog ninety eight. I I've um I think that Arya could change her username to Arya of Flame. I think that might be a good uh <laughs> rebrand. I don't know. It's obviously. Obviously up to her, <laughs> but Aria Flame would be pretty sick. Carrying Feeder plus Squirrel? Uh, I haven't. Obviously, like, there's something to that, probably. Alright, welcome back, Disciple of the Vaults. We are going our shadow, but we've, we've got a lot of chump blockers, so I'm not too worried. Arc kind of flooding out a little bit, so. I even tr I trimmed the land. I guess I could have trimmed that an extra saga, huh? Yeah, I get to put my opponent to three here. I'm at a pretty high life total. The shadow, like they don't play team or battle rage, so like the one ones can block the shadow for a little while. I still have access to Luris. Okay. I think we got him. You are already dead. Awesome. Our first trophy with this deck. Our first trophy with this deck. <laughs> I really, I really, really like this one. I know the challenge didn't go that well, but boy, do I really like this deck. Open our chest, huh? Not, not this one. This is the first draft. Don't look. Nobody look. This one. Beautiful list. 
The, the Shrapnel Plus Galvanic Blast have seemed so good to me, too. Just like exactly what the deck needs instead of being. Uh, Titania. Nice alt art Titania. Funny Line of Sanctity. Grease Fang. Nothing too crazy. Okay, what time is it? 4, 30, 4 hours 30 minutes live. Well, we should have time.